What's up guys, it's your gaming dude and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm coming at you guys with the AMD Ryzen CPU benchmarks against the i7-7700K which is the upcoming Kaibu Lake processor and also the 8 cores 16 threaded i7-6900K and the 20 threads 10 core CPU the i7-6950X. So the Cinebench R15 results show you that the AMD Ryzen CPU is actually beating the i7-7700K even overclocked but it's not even close from the i7-6900K with the, with the Ryzen scoring about 1200 points and the 6900K about 1500 points. Points. So that's a bit disappointing maybe to see that because AMD have advertised this CPU to be competing against the i7-6900K or actually beating it in blender test. So yeah, I don't know what does this mean. So and there was another benchmark called Fritz Chess I believe. AMD Ryzen have beaten the i7-7700K by a small margin while the i7-7700K overclocked have been the AMD Ryzen stock clocked so keep in mind that the AMD Ryzen CPU is stock clocked at 3.4 GHz so we don't know yet how capable it is at overclocking I mean you don't often see a CPU overclocked to 5 GHz so might as well that when they release the i7-7700K you won't be able to so yeah there are still some questions to be answered and keep in mind though that um, we don't know the price point of the AMD Ryzen CPU yet, whether it's the $350 model or the $500 model. I hope it's the $350 model, so in a way that it will be competing with the i7-7700K, but if it's the $500 model, then I think that AMD Ryzen CPU is a gimmick, because you'll not pay like additional $150 for this small margin between it and the i7-7700K because the 7700K again or the Kaby Lake i7 is priced at $350. I don't think it's worth it but maybe it's the $350 CPU and the new which in this case it's a really nice price per performance CPU and it beats the 7700K by a big difference or like it beats the 7700K so there is no reason for you to get the Kaby Lake i7 right? So yeah, it's down to the price point and um, also this is the consumer CPU made by AMD. I believe they will release workstation CPUs in mid-2017. So as Intel, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I believe that's it guys. And uh, yeah, if I forgot anything, um, remind me in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And again guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.